what's going on guys um, just gonna put a quick video out um, I've been a little uh, absent on here hadn't been a whole lot going on in the workshop project wise at least not anything that I've had the, the time to video so just wanted to stop by I'm packing a pipe well, I already packed it obviously and um, I'd give a quick PSA on packing a pipe. Tons and tons of videos out there. You know, I always say that if you ask 10 people how to pack a pipe, uh, you're likely to get 12, 13 opinions on it. But, uh, you know, depending on what kind of tobacco it is or, you know, how it's been processed, if it's a, a ready rub or flake coins or plug or, you know, whatever, um, that can definitely affect how you're going to pack it. Um, you know, you hear the old adage of pack like a baby, pack like a woman, pack like a man. Where you start off really loose and a little tighter and then, you know, a little more tight. But, and then people say never pack any tighter than you can pack it down with the, the pad of your thumb. Uh, Not my club <laughs> thumb here. Yeah, for those of y'all who don't know, I cut the end of my thumb off years ago, but so maybe I tried this one, but <clears throat> I think one thing uh, pipe smokers can agree on, uh, at least uh, pipe smokers that, that have been at it for a, you know, a little while that know how to keep a pipe lit, um, and I don't mean that, you know, bashing any new people that are new to pipe smoking. Uh, I do think that probably the number one reason people give up on pipe smoking, people that, you know, I think even enjoy it to an extent, I think they get frustrated because they can't keep it lit. And so they just have to keep relighting and relighting and relighting. And when you do that, <clears throat> um, you lose the flavor of the tobacco. Uh, you, you get to where all you can taste is the heat, you know, from the flame. And uh, when, you, when you do learn how to keep a pipe lit for, you know, a good period of time, um, the, the heat uh, dissipates a lot, and um, when you draw on it, the smoke is a lot cooler at that, at that point, point. Um, and so you begin to taste a lot of the flavor of the tobacco rather than the heat from constantly relighting it over and over, <clears throat> and I think once you get to that point, you really begin to, to be able to enjoy pipe smoking. Um, you, you, opens up your palate, you know, and all these different flavors. I think some folks can get a little pretentious, you know, about, oh, well, this is, this has a, uh, the essence of hazelnut and, and old world England, and, you know, yeah, I'm not that guy, but, uh, like tonight I'm smoking some, uh, Cornel and Dill Burley Flake from 2016, and, um, to be honest, I think it's kind of like a, a one note, um, uh, tobacco it's burley yeah, if, you, if you're familiar with pipe smoking burleys burleys are burleys some are stronger than others but at the end of the day it's, it's a burley and uh this cornell and Dale burley flake is it's just a straightforward burley which i like i like a lot um so uh anyway getting back to the point i, I think the one thing that pipe smokers would agree on about how to pack a pipe is that it's, it's probably always better to err on the side of packing it too loosely uh, rather than too tightly. And, and the reason for that is is that you can always tamp. You can use your tamper, you know, use a tamp to tamp your tobacco down to the tightness that you want, you know, to get the desired draw from your pipe. <clears throat> um, however, if you pack it too tight, as I see a lot of new pipe smokers doing, you know, they want to, they see guys smoking their pipes for you know an hour, hour and a half at a time, and you know think you got to have a lot of tobacco packed in the pipe in order to do that. And you know definitely, you know having more tobacco in it you know, it might typically lend itself to a longer smoke. It's not always the case. Um, I've seen I know guys that can probably pack half as much tobacco as someone else and keep it lit longer and and better. Um, you know, if you pack it too tight, you're going to restrict the, the airflow, the oxygen that gets to it. 
Uh, you know, one thing a fire needs to burn is oxygen. So I would just say always err on the side of, of packing it too loosely because you can always tamp it down tighter. And uh, however, if you pack it too tightly from the get-go, there's really no remedy for that. You can you can use a, a pipe cleaner, you know, and kind of poke down through the airway there to open you up a, a little better draw. But uh, it, it, you know, it really doesn't fix the problem. It helps a little, but it doesn't fix it. So yeah, if you're going to tamp your pipe, if you're new to pipe smoking, or maybe you've been at it for a while and you struggle with that, uh, I'd encourage you to pack it a little bit looser and um, draw on it, get it lit, and, and then tamp it down, you know, to where you think you may want it, what works for you. And tonight I'm smoking a pipe that was gifted to me by a fellow pipe maker, brother of the briar. Uh, it was actually sent to me when I was living in Papua New Guinea, and uh, what a cool thing to get. Uh, this was an unfinished pipe. Uh, this pipe maker kind of has a, uh, he told me a, a kind of a three strike policy where, you know, if he has three errors in his pipe or uh, I'm not really can't remember how he worded it but you know once he hits that third one he's done you know he's he's going to lay that pipe aside but this pipe was functional uh, completely 100% functional which I can attest to because I've smoked it a lot uh, and uh, so he sent it to me kind of in unfinished raw form but nearly complete and one day I will finish it I just haven't gotten to it but uh, it was unfinished no stain no no uh, oils or, or finish on it. Uh, the stem, if you can see, let's see there. Uh, I'm not sure what shows up, but you know, you see the file marks, the buttons still need a lot taken off of it. Um, but man, I, I love it. It's a great little pipe. I, I like the smaller. I think here on the camera it makes it look bigger than it is. It's got this really amazing deep craggy blast. Um, it's a military mount, which I absolutely love. I love military mount pipes. Um, uh, I won't go into what he didn't like about it, uh, but the uh, silver shank cap here, um, you know, it would polish up to a mirror finish, you know, with very little effort, and it came to me that way. But it's tarnished over time. Um, you can't see it here. I'm looking at the camera, and it's um, it just doesn't show up, but. Especially in the daylight, that tarnish has a really nice patina. It's got some the blues and greens that you see, which I really like. So I'm just going to leave it be until it's gone too far, and then I'll polish it up. But one day I'll finish it. I'll finish out the button and, and the stem, and I don't know. I may put a stain on it, but uh, oil it and everything. But uh, what a great gift! Uh, it's been a really enjoyable pipe. So anyway, I'll keep it there video has gone on way longer than I intended anyway, but uh, yeah, just remember, um, if you're new to pipe smoking or just having trouble uh, keeping your pipe lit, uh, focus on your tamp. Tamp it, or I mean, just focus on your packing. Pack it looser. Um, pack it real loose, you know, for a while, and, and then tamp down to uh, what you think feels good when you're drawing on it, and I think that'll help you out a lot. All right, guys, see you later. Mm -hmm.